Good morning, everyone. Today is Thursday, March 17th. I lied, it's not Thursday. It's Wednesday, March 17th. I don't know why I thought it was Thursday. It's... <coughs> Excuse me. It's St. Patrick's Day. Um, and I figured today would be a great day for me to vlog my morning with you, for you guys. Yeah, I'm just going to do the morning like I used to do. But I just let the dogs out. It's snowing. I'm not okay with that. And I'm going to spend the morning trying to get some stuff done. I have to do laundry. I want to tidy up this kitchen a little bit. Maybe do some homework. Yeah. This is what I could look like. It is 10 o'clock. I have to go let the other dog out of my roommate's room. I have to pay our propane bill. And I was going to go to Dunkin' to get coffee today to treat myself, but I'm not sure with the snow. But we'll see. But I'm going to take you guys along with me. But my dogs are barking for me, so I'll be back. Okay, so now we're in my laundry room. Hold on. I got to get you at a better angle. Because otherwise I am... That's a little better. I'm still leaning, but... We're in my laundry room. I have... Called and paid for the propane. I let the other dog out. I'm sorry if you can't hear me. This is kind of loud. So I let the other dog out. She went to the bathroom. I ate breakfast, which consisted of a banana. And now I am throwing some laundry in real quick. Yeah. Um, I think my last video I posted was a my Jeep tour. A lot has happened since then. Uh, long story short, my sister is living with me right now. So we have four adults in my house, so that's fun. Um, but she's been a great help. She's been picking up on my slack of cleaning the house and doing, making supper and stuff. So that's been nice. But now she has two jobs, so I'm going to have to start picking up that slack again. That's okay. Uh, school is going good. I have spring break next week. Though so I'm an adult and I work a full-time job, so I don't really have spring break. But it'll be a nice break from homework. If you're watching me throw these in and you're cringy because I don't separate my clothes, I'm sorry. But I don't have that kind of time. But yeah. Um, I have a whole pile of clothes I need to fold behind me, so that's fun and exciting. Otherwise, nothing exciting happens. We got a stimulus check today, going straight into the savings account, or we'll use it to pay our taxes, either or. Don't really matter. Um, oh, my job's going well. I was, here, let me get you at the different angle while I tell you this. Okay. Quick, before I go to fold some clothes. So, uh, for my job, I was planning on quitting my job and going to work back at my old job at the veterans home. Um, I had put in my application, I had, uh, Words are escaping me. Had my interviews and everything, and I was just waiting for the job offer. So my, sorry, do I have bruise right here? It hurts. My current job, the one I work at, the nursing home I work at now, knew I was looking for a new job because the veterans home had actually called them. So that was that was a great conversation to have. And they they were like, why why are you looking for a new job? I was like, well, the veterans home just had a pay raise, and I would be offered, so they're CNA 1, 2, and 3. Normally, I would be offered CNA 2, but uh, since I worked there before and they loved me there, they were going to offer me a CNA 3. So essentially, I would be making like $21 an hour, which is in the CNA world, right? Um, And they're like, oh yeah, we can't really top that. I'm sorry. I'm like, yeah. So then, my, we had just gotten raises at my job at the beginning of the month. I think, yeah, the beginning of the month, or last month, um, we got, I got a 3% raise, which ended up being, like, 
60 cents. Not a big deal. So then a couple weeks go by, not a couple weeks, a couple days go by. Still haven't heard from the vet's home. And my job had announced, hey, we appreciate, every hold on, Lacey. We've appreciated everything that y'all are doing. We're going to give all the CNAs across the board a $1.50 raise. So that's two raises, right? Awesome. Great. That's good. But, you know, still not exactly worth staying. I'd still only be making like 16 bucks an hour. All right. So then, was it the same day? No, it was the next day. My HR lady pulled me in. Mind you, my HR lady is was a friend of mine. Um, she pulled me into her office like, hey. We come up with some new policies. I work at a very small private owned facility, so like them coming up with these new policies is like mind blowing. Um, she's like, We came up with some new policies this morning. Like so they're like, We're offering to help pay with your tuition. We'll reimburse you five hundred dollars a semester, which is great. I'm like, okay, that's nice. And she's like, and we're coming up with a new position it's the cna trainer position which is what i would have been at vet home it would be another dollar fifty raise so i'd be getting a three dollar raise on top of the raise i just got and uh i just pretty much be in charge of training everybody which isn't really that big of a thing because we barely have any new people so i had decided i'm going to stay i mean i'm still making less here than i would at the veterans home but it's less stressful here. And uh, my my office lady, hold on, I got a little bit on. Oh. Or she runs the other way. Anyway, my office lady is very flexible with our schedules. Like for school, I really need that. She'll be she's willing to work with us, so that's great. So that's part of the reason why I want to say. Plus, my job is five minutes from where I live, and if I can tell them I would have to work or drive like forty minutes. So. I'm staying, so that's great. That's exciting news about my job. But yeah, I gotta go fold some laundry now. You guys want to see the mountain of clothes I have to fold? Don't mind my dining room because it's a mess. But okay, you can't, that's a bad angle. Let's let's go from the side view. There's one, two, three. I think there's only three baskets, but all this is clean clothes that needs to be folded and put away. So I'm going to be doing that for a hot minute. Alright, so I folded about half of my clothes. I decided I'm done for today because I just don't want to do any more. And yeah, it looks like the snow is slowing down a little bit, so that's fun. I ate a snack. I had a cucumber with ranch. What else did I do? Ooh, I put a nose strip on, got all the gunk out of my nose, and I put in another little laundry all that time. So now it is almost 11.30. I think I'm going to sit on the couch and watch some TikTok videos for a little bit, maybe some TV. I'm just really tired. Um, and then in about half an hour, I'll start getting ready because I kind of want to go to Dunkin' and get a coffee. It's been a hot minute since I got a coffee. Actually, it's been, I don't even know. It's probably been like a week, over a week. This dog keeps asking to go outside. I've taken it outside four times already. She's been out of her, out of the room for an hour and a half yeah so that's fun so yeah i'm just gonna relax for a little bit and yeah so fun fact when i put this last little laundry in i put in all of my uh scrub bottoms so i get to wear jeans to work today yay that's okay um hold on Oh god, I am so sorry. Let's go up here. I am just gonna do a quick makeup, probably just do mascara because I'm just not into. I just don't want to do my makeup today. And I'll probably just do my hair in a bun. Literally, I'll, I'm minimum effort today. Minimum effort. But I'm getting coffee. I think I deserve that. Okay, so I definitely forgot that I was vlogging. But I'm on my way to Duncan. Oh man, my flyaways are awful. I'm on my way to Duncan now. 
Um, I just put eyebrows on. I didn't even worry about mascara. It is a frozen mix outside. I'm kind of, I should really be focusing on the nose. That's not what I wanted. Okay. I don't know what I just did. Ah, that's what I did. Hold on. There we go. So it's a frozen mix outside. The, if you can't hear that hitting my window. Don't worry, that'd be okay. I really need to get a stand for my phone to have up to my window. But yeah, I'm gonna go get some coffee. Um, and yeah, my stomach kind of hurts. I've had a stomach bug for the last couple days. It's been a pain in the butt. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna get off of here because it looks like the roads are icing over, so. Alright, so I got my coffee. Um, I get a large caramel craze if y'all are wondering. I think it's good. It's worth every calorie that is in it. Probably like, what, 600 calories? And now it's 1 o'clock and I have to head to work. I work at 2 and it's about half an hour to get to my job. Yes, I just drove half an hour away to get coffee. I'm also hoping that I don't get a phone call from my husband. He is getting his wisdom teeth removed and he thinks he's going to be able to drive home. So... I have a bad feeling I'm going to get a phone call from him telling me to come pick him up while I'm at work. So that's what he thinks he's not, no, I lied. He thinks he's going to drive back to work after getting four wisdom teeth taken out. You do you, boo. You do you. I'll just let you do. Men. Anyway, so uh, yeah, I'm going to head back to work now.